Hello everybody and welcome back to my let's play of Aurora 4X. Um, it has been a few days since I last played that my um, I had a bit of a tongue issue so I didn't want to sound like I was I was uh, hit by a shovel and um, that's gone now so I am back. So when we left off last time we had uh, started production of our terraforming, or at least loaded up production for our terraforming terraforming um, orbital. And now we're waiting for it to finish, or finally get up to production. Uh, and for now, we're basically just working on getting our technology base back uh, up to a reasonable level, uh, getting our combat ships to a, re to a reasonable quantity, and just basically uh, getting ready to start terraforming and colonizing Sol and the beyond. So we're slowly getting up there. So we still need the jump gear construction module. So the jump gear construction module, um, the number there that determines how many days it takes for the gate for it to actually uh, build the gate. Um, so with jump gates, uh, they're called jump gates, but technically they're not really gates. They're more like uh, stabilized wormholes. So a jump gate constructor will goes to a wormhole, um, takes however many days it takes to um, stabilize it, and at that point the jump point is stable pretty much forever. Um, that is why you you can't actually destroy a jump gate. You can't destabilize the jump point again. So it's important to remember that once you've once you've built once you built a jump gate, you can't shut it down. Um, it's not that big of a deal though, because you know it's it's very easy to set up a um, a, a, a jump tender to ship task groups and fleets across. So. Um, it's not exactly that much of an impediment to anybody actually trying to get through to you, but it does, of course, hmm. no, that's fine. Um, it does, of course, um, make a problem with getting very large ships through and, um, Civilian shipping and stuff like that can't really move across non-jump gated ones. So, jump gates are useful, but not having one is not really going to stop um, anything big or dangerous coming through. Alright, so, jump gate module. And now all we need is an engine. Yeah, that'll do. And fuel. One ten billion. Yeah, that'll do. So jump gear construction time is not affected by morale, so deployment time can be three months. And we'll put a conscript crew because we don't need um, we don't need morale or crew skill or anything like that. So now we have to wait for a commercial shipyard to get done. Uh, it looks, I think, that, is that a first civilian ship? No, we've got a few more. They're all population transports, that's really annoying. Oh well. Uh, we've got a boost in research. Our construction rate is extremely low. We should get that up.
put that next after mining rate. And we'll actually boost this to 10. Drop it off. <laughs> no, not at the moment. Actually, yeah. Finish off the last of the fire controls. And got plenty of iron drives, so we'll finish off production on that. There we go. Need to get the shipyards back up and running. We can't build ships without the shipyards anyway, so there's not really much point in building fire controls and engines anyway. Uh, got another sh slip yard on the river, good. Take some production for the construction factories because we really, really need more. All right, there's the ion drive. And okay, good. We're starting to work on the construct on the commercial shipyards, and we're building a few points few percent worth every five days so that'll just slowly take a while <coughs> got a new research lab Let's see if we can put on something useful. <laughs> Let's get a turret tracking up because we will need it. What's the rest of the guys doing? Not a thing. We've got some auto mines. Get some more subsidies going. And they're just building colony ships. Okay, there's no point in giving them any more money. They're just being stupid. Oh, we've got some construction brigades. Excellent. Each construction brigade is, is considered one factory. So having construction brigades allows us to basically increase our, our factory production for the planet without necessarily having to build new construction factories. And we can also move them around and they can run without requiring population. So um, we don't have to worry about whether the population or not, and we can build PDCs and stuff to it. So it comes in extremely handy. They're also fantastic for digging out um, ruins that we might find. So that will be great. A salvage module is almost done. There it is. Let's work on some of these foundation technologies, engineering, fuel storage, transport base, yes, good. Mm 
just realized I forgot to set the thing. What is this? This is a nothing. This thing is a constructor. Construction ship, there we go. Ah, we almost have a shipyard. There we go. I need to ramp up size. Okay, we've got people ranking up and skilling up, which is good. Terraforming rate is at 0.02, which is fine. All right, what do we want next? Next we want... You know, I'm gonna get some missile technology because I wanna show you all missile design and all that good stuff. So start the foundations of missile and magazine tech. Next shipyard's almost ready. There it is. I'll go ahead and add more capacity to it. Okay, got some capacity, add more, got a research lab, stick that in there, good. Uh, we got our first set of warhead strength, get some more, hangar deck is almost ready, there it is. 
So we will need um, smaller components that we can put on our fighters before we can actually get any fighters. But with hangar decks, we can potentially build like frigate carriers and stuff like that. Because um, when it comes to docking ships, uh, as long as the ship is smaller than the available hangar space, you can dock a ship to it. So you can drop, you can dock a battleship onto a larger carrier. So it can come in handy if you have, for example, um, a small tiny little carrier with commercial engines that will transport um, a big fuel-hungry uh, frigate to the battlefield. So. There are definitely uses for small for big carriers like that. Right, we've got a new shipping line. Yes, somebody finally put out a freighter. There it is. Perfect. Now we have some movement. And more freighters. Excellent. So now we can take our cargo task group and leave it at Earth. Because at this stage, we have three freighters in system. And they can do the shipping for us. <clears throat> we do have to pay them. As you can see, is it in there yet? No, not yet. It's takes a little while. Uh, we do have to pay them, but they will definitely get it done far, um, a lot cheaper in fuel than our current, than our own uh, personal freighters. Got more research ready. And look at this set up a civilian mining colony on Schmaus. There it is. Okay. What do they have? Geranium and Corbomite. So they're going to be harvesting pretty quickly. And of course, it'll expand as time goes on. Do we. Now, have we actually tagged all of the colonies that we want. Yeah, we pretty much have tagged all the colonies that we want. So, geranium. How much geranium and corbomite are we actually lacking? So we have a fair amount of corbomite. We have a fair amount of uranium. Um, we have tritanium coming. Um, corbomite, corbomite, corbomite. Do we have any actual corbomite? Yeah, we have a small source of corbomite from Numgin. And we have plenty at EO. So, <clears throat> the next question is, can we afford to buy this stuff? And with a current wealth, yes, yes, we can. So, we might as well purchase it so that it doesn't go into the ether and send it on its way. Now, if you don't want a civilian mining colony to take a planet, what you, need, what you basically want to do is you want to abandon it immediately and then go to the system view once it loads there it is go to system view and basically drop a colony on it so if you if you have your own colony on it civilians will not set up mining if you just abandon it and leave it empty they will just reopen the colony there um, but i find that not having to worry about um, shipping mines and stuff there 
um, it's sometimes more beneficial than not paying for or not paying as much for the minerals. All right, we have upgraded a shipyard, so we will get more. I wonder if we've got a new one as well, which is great, some time ago. I have to shut down slinging the mineral packet appears to be stuck here for some reason we'll have to have a look at that in a moment but we'll get more tonnage there okay that mineral packet is gone Okay, good. Now they're actually flying properly. So it looks like they, they just got a little bit stuck. <clears throat> All right. F large fuel storage is complete. Uh, I see what it's, how it's happening. So the middle packet gets spawned, right? And because it's so small and so fast, it's going from here to here and landing at Earth within a five-day tick. Because it's landing and disappearing, the tail never actually forms. If we go to... Oh, there's a new mining colony. Let's go have a look at it first. This Numia. 81,000 uranium. That's nothing. They can keep it. Uh, now, it, so yeah... If we do one day ticks, yeah, see, now they're actually flying. So, looks like that's all it was. Okay, moving along. Promotions. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Keep going. Still got another seven minutes to go. More capacity. Good. We almost got another 10,000. There it goes. Civilian shipyards really speed up how fast they actually do things because eventually the mod rate is so high and their cost is so low that they get it done within a couple few months. <laughs> got more construction brigades, which is great. More missile tech.
How are we doing for factories? 243. Uh, we're getting a few more of the logistics techs. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, it looks like we have another civilian mining colony as well. So we'll go have a look at this one. What's this one got? Uh, not very much of anything at all. They can keep that. expanded they they will slowly expand over time as they get more uh, funds so mo for the most part they will usually try and establish a new colonies um, but if they can't establish a new colony then they will upgrade one instead all right so that is the last of our commercial shipyards I'll bump this one up to 100,000 as well, just for kicks. All right, now, now they're starting work on our naval shipyards. Get some more capacity. Okay, so that one's up to 10,000, that's good. All right, we got a boost to mining production, which is excellent. Earth still has another 33 years of minerals. Well, the most of them are going to be gone in about 15, within 15. And we're now working on our construction rate, which is going to help immensely. And another mining colony on Wolf. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm just fuel. 
um, we're gonna we've found several probably about 300 million tons so far of it in different places if not more so they can keep that in those minerals as well and that's half an hour so with that I'll put in a cut and we'll continue on in the next video thank you for watching